Welcome back, everyone, to the Balanced Perception Podcast. I know it has been a while, but we are back in full swing. Today, we have an upcoming awesome cosplayer who goes by the name of Fox Promenade. I met her at KatsuCon while she was cosplaying as Luna. You can see her video on my YouTube channel at Boundless Perception, or just, you know, go to my Instagram, go anywhere you type in Boundless Perception, you'll find me. But anyways, back to the interview. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks again for having me. Like, this is, this is already super fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it. You know, we haven't even started yet, but you seem to be enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been working on or doing, you know, in the midst of all this quarantine? Quarantining? Is that a word? Quarantining? Quarantines. Yeah. Quarantines? Yeah. Quar Quarantidings. Quarantinings. Um, okay. <laughs> um, oh, not, not really as much, if I'm being totally honest. I'm one of the people who my motivation's been really kind of sapped since the the con schedule's kind of been deleted, but uh, smaller things. I've got some small uh, Sailor Moon cosplay things I'm working on, and I'm making an Oni mask just for the fun of it. So that's Oni, been fun. Oni like, from which? Because there's like tons of Onis. Oni like a gen a, a, a general demon mouth Oni got mask. It, got mm -hmm. it. Because you know, like I'm a Street Fire uh, Street Fighter player, so every time I hear Oni, I always oh, think of Akuma. Right. And yeah. That's fair. <laughs> so oh, no, that's cool though what is that mask for uh for funsies <laughs> oh nice. i think i'd like to do something bigger with it um i just haven't picked a theme and color for it yet i'm just kind of it's something to do i need to keep my hands busy before i forget how to make stuff i can understand that completely you know it's like we have all this time right now to craft cosplays and i'm sure nobody is crafting and then like a week before the convention they're like oh i wish i had more time and it's like, <laughs> we had a whole year <laughs> Yeah, that's tricky though like you think about the people who are like oh i work best under pressure it's because you won't do it <laughs> unless exactly. unless it's almost time for the deadline it's so funny because i was thinking to myself because i'm like i said just working on a new cosplay i'm getting into the crafting and i'm mm -hmm. like uh you know there's no conventions i have like three months four months to start all this and then i guarantee you a week before the convention i'm like crap why didn't i work on this stuff yeah <laughs> So. Um, thinking about the cons of this summer that like oh well uh blurred con would have been next month right yeah and uh i was gonna do a whole weekend of these specific movie inspired blah, blah 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 and i was like man i have all the time in the world i'm gonna be done by june have i started <laughs> <laughs> yep yep <sighs> congratulations you're a human like the rest of us oh <laughs> uh, yes i am a connoisseur of procrastination Oh, yeah. It's, you know, it, it's not easy to get to that title. I feel like it takes some work. So mm -hmm. Years. congratulations. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. It, it, it took a whole lot of trying up to get up this hill. <laughs> yeah. So who were you going to have ready had Blurred Con, you know, went down? Um, so uh, hopefully I would have been able to bring back my Songo cosplay because I would have been able to transport my boomerang. Um, that's really the biggest issue with that one. Um, I wanted to do... A few, a few movies uh, for my mom. Uh, her birthday mm -hmm. is next month, and so I wanted to cosplay Lilu from The Fifth Element, because that's our favorite mm -hmm. movie together. Mm -hmm. um, I think I wanted to do Lydia Dietz from Beetlejuice, mm -hmm. Coraline. So just a lot of the movies that me and my mom really love together. Mm -hmm. um, some simpler ones, I was going to bring back my Luna and, and wear that, and then Jubilee from X-Men. Summer was going to be light. Like, I was ready. I was ready to really tackle multiple cosplays that didn't take me a month or two to do but again here we are <laughs> <laughs> you know it's okay there's still plenty of time left we're good right <laughs> but now that you brought up well many of your cosplays specifically the songo one i wanted to talk about first mm -hmm. if you guys haven't seen it head over to her instagram fox promenade actually go ahead and spell that out for us oh yeah yeah uh it's f-o-x-x -X, so two x's uh, P-R-O-M-E-N-A-D-E. -E. It's like lemonade, but with prom. Exactly. <laughs> it's an awesome cosplay. You guys got to go see it. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you veteran cosplayer watchers like me grew up on Inuyasha. So you remember that big ass boomerang that Sango had, <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> she completely replicated. So like, how did you do this? Um, so the base is, it's actually, I was, uh, insulation foam is just uh, chef's kiss. Honestly, <laughs> top uh, shelf. Absolutely. Um, I got 
uh, just a really large piece of insulation foam. I measured myself out because I knew I wanted it to be full scale and relatively wide. Uh, I spent too long looking at videos of boomerangs and how they were shaped and trying to figure out the curvature. And then I just carved it down. Uh, the carving took me yeah, just about half a day. I mean, you just multiple coats of wood glue Ooh. and then priming it and painting it. And then I had uh, some leather strips. I made the tassels myself out of embroidery thread. Jesus. Um, I got some more <laughs> insulation foam balls because I was too lazy to go find some styrofoam. And I carved them down, painted them red, and I attached it all, and there it was. Very nice. And how long did this take you? Um, off and on, because, you know, uh, Katsu Crunch was uh, in the midst of me also working full time. So I think it took me maybe like two days. That's, you know, every time you guys give these insane numbers to me i mean maybe it's just because i'm just starting but they're like oh yeah i built this you know whole cosplay or this massive boomerang in like two days i'm like how how <laughs> but, but i mean that when i say it took me two days i didn't do anything else i carved and carved and then i i coded and i coded and i went and ate some pizza and i came back and i coded <laughs> and i coded and you flip it over and then you code it and you code it and you're covered in all sorts of stuff and then you clean and then you paint and then you have to coat it again and it it it's really just sometimes it's it's you either have time you have money or you have quality and you get to pick two of them you know it's like sometimes you can find the thing that makes it a little bit easier or faster to complete a task or you can find something that maybe is more cost efficient for you but just takes longer and yeah your girl mad broke so we will always take <laughs> if possible i will always take the thing that takes a little bit longer if i can if i can do that yo trust me i feel you on the being mad broke part like mm -hmm. the cosplay life is draining and mm -hmm. the reward as of right now it's not very high so right. maybe some endorphins you, you know, know? Or maybe like if they somehow make a machine that can convert your friend's likes into money. Oh my gosh. I, you know, I'd be at about like five or 10 bucks, but some of you guys. <laughs> 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 no, but so uh, you were saying that you used, what was the name of the foam you used again? Uh, it's insulation foam or insulation board. It's like those big purple sheets of foam that you can get at, we don't go to Home Depot anymore. He's canceled. <laughs> Uh, you can go to, I think Lowe's also has insulation foam. Uh, oh, I know exactly. It just, you know what, like, I, the two never went together in my head. I, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about now. Like, do you think that's better than EVA? Well, so they're, they're, they're super different. Uh, insulation foam isn't, it doesn't flex. You know, it's, it's a foam sheet. It's a board. I guess I should call it that. I should call it an insulation board. Um, I don't know what it's called. When I Google it, it says insulation <laughs> foam. Um, but they're they're super different. Like my, but all the other co uh, armor on my Songo is is EVA or it's just craft foam. Um, the shoulder pads and my knee pads and stuff were, I think five millimeter. I think I used Yaya Han for that cosplay because I had it and um, the smaller pieces, like the cod piece in the front and then the, the piece in the back and some things, those were actually just one millimeter craft sheets that I got from like just Walmart. And then you just layer them up and I did fabric on top of foam and then more foam on top of fabric. And it was just super efficient. They're flexible. Um, if you, you know, you baste it. So if it's hot and it messes up the shape, you can reflex it and kind of try to get it back into a decent shape. Um, I love EVA foam. Like I will never, I won't talk mess about EVA foam ever. It's so versatile. That's what I'm like, yeah, currently using right now. And then I've been finding like the hardest time getting everything to match up, like, you know, 90 degrees or just even yeah. like, I swear, like I'll have the, I don't know, pattern or whatever cut out mm -hmm. and then I'll cut out the EVA foam. Mm -hmm. I lay them down side by side and then like I'll glue on one piece. And mm -hmm. when I go to glue on the next one, it's not long enough or something. I'm like, how this defies yeah. physics yeah <laughs> a lot uh, I'm, I'm not the best at uh keeping everything <laughs> super symmetrical either i'm the person who hmm, i guess i'll just keep it's like when you draw an eyeliner and you just have to keep on trying to make it match but then the whole eye is filled in because it never matched that's me cosplay. <laughs> see um, i've never put on makeup before in my life so you should try it it's fun. I, I actually really want to because i wanted to do um 
the uh, cell shaded effect from uh, what's the name of that game? A uh, Borderlands. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a really fun style, and it's 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 a good um, like a makeup style to start out with because it's really forgiving. Um, if you make up some like extra hash marks here, or if it's not super clean, that's the style. So it'll still look really cool. Borderlands is our sales great. I really want to do that. And I was watching a few YouTube videos on it, but it looks so complicated. But like my girlfriend was telling me, she's like, oh, that's, you know, basic makeup one-on-one. I was just like, this is basic makeup one-on-one, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> Your basic makeup one-on-one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I don't want to hear that. <laughs> uh, that's fun. So, <laughs> but cool. And so, uh, well, another cosplay we can branch off into is your Luna, because that's what I actually captured you in at Katsukan. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about that one. Oh, so um, I'm a huge Moonie. Uh, as a full disclaimer, I love Sailor Moon. I have Sailor Moon tattoos. I'm getting more of them, and I love Luna very, very much. So it, it, was, it was a really last-minute decision. I didn't think I was going to bring it. How did that keep on happening? I just made a lot of last-minute decisions for Katsu this year. But... Um, <laughs> I just, it was a lot of math. Can I say that? It was so much math. I'm terrible at pattern making um, and figuring out the skirt shape because it's like a high-low and it's a, it's a handkerchief shape and uh -huh. making all these things. It was, it was a first time making a dress like that. So I'm just, I'm super proud of that uh, cosplay because I patterned it myself and had the lining and then all the, I'm sorry, all the seams were really neat and I was really proud of that one. And the wig was fire, boy. It was, <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I, what did I get that? Did I get that on Amazon? Or was it AliExpress? No, I think it was Amazon. Uh -huh. Like 30, 40, 40 bucks? Not bad. Yeah. And Not you just um, got the, uh, the, the, some styrofoam balls, paint them, wrap them in the hair. Because I didn't want to cut the wig. So I just wrapped it and pinned it to make the four little Odangos on top of her head. Uh -huh. And then I had some clip-on bangs. And the clip-on bangs were the same bangs as Songos. Mm, very nice. You're like extremely creative too. I wouldn't have thought of that. Thank you. I tried. Yeah, that's really cool. But you know what's going on? I haven't seen these pictures on your, well, your um, Instagram yet. I know. Um, my photographer has been pretty busy. Um, and it was, it was very, just honestly, shooting with her was, was great. And I'm, I'm not in too much of a hurry. I'm going to try and do some self shoots to get some more Luna content up or get Luna content up period. Um, so waiting on that one's just been a process, but with everything kind of going on, um, I haven't been too pressed and, and it was a free shoot too. So I'm, I'm just very excited for the art when it comes, but I sh could also take some initiative and take some <laughs> more photos. So yeah, I'm a bum. No, no, it's all good. I mean, we captured it on video, so everyone, you know, you can go see it on YouTube. Please um, do, please, because yes. I, the, everything looks so good. Like, you got the whole, everything <laughs> top to bottom looks really great, and being able to see the way that the dress flowed, too, is definitely something I wouldn't have been able to see in just pictures, so I'm very, very glad that I met you that day. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, for everyone who doesn't know, we actually just literally met at Katsukan, so... Mm -hmm. And if you haven't been, well, when it opens back up, hopefully, hopefully in January, we'll have Katsukan again. But it's an awesome convention. You have to go. Yeah. If you love cosplay, if you love uh, costuming and, and craftsmanship, that's it. That's Katsu's always been the con for that. That's why I always go really hard on Katsu. I, man, and, you know, like there's so many big names that came out, like Leon Chiro was there. Mm. Um, wait, was Cutie Pie there? Was she there this year? I don't know if, uh, I know King Kitsu was there. Yeah. Um, and his amazingly beautiful Bulbasaur. It was mm -hmm. so cute. <laughs> I loved it. It was great. Who I saw him. Oh, Alex, Alex Dra Draz. Oh, I forget how you say his name. Alex something. Alex Draz. I, you guys would know who I'm talking about. He's another really big name. And uh, he was there, I think, as uh, Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. But don't mm. quote me on that. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Uh, Thou Art Anuli was there. Yeah, I love Thou Art Anuli. Actually, that's that I got to meet her in person there, and I had an actual like I ran, <laughs> I ran. <laughs> I think I, I think I might have been crying a little bit, and she's just top tier human being, perfect. You know, perfect. Um, where did I meet her at? I met her so. Oh my gosh, I cannot remember where I met her at. But um, I had, at the time, I had no idea, like, you know, how big she was. Oh and then when she told me her name, I was like, that name sounds really familiar. And, you know, we had a discussion. She went about her day. And I looked mm -hmm. her up on Instagram. I was like, 
oh god that was you <laughs> like you know i guess it just didn't hit me till after it's just, every every everything she makes is just <laughs> a one Amazing. quality uh, and and she's so funny she's got such a great personality and so even that's the best thing about cons that's that's the thing about cons you know you see people and they're just like faces yeah and, yeah and you get to meet them and and you get to feel their energy for the first time like mm -hmm. i met uh, Kira, please, for all of like 15 minutes at Blurred last year, and I was so starstruck. She made <laughs> she made me feel like she was honored to meet me, and I was like, "How? <laughs> do you know who you are? <laughs> yeah. do you, do you, have you have you do, do you know? <laughs> have you seen a mirror? Someone get this girl a mirror. Someone please help her. <laughs> yeah, someone help tell her, her who please. she is. Yeah. Can someone tell her who she is, please? <laughs> please. It's, yeah, but you know, like. I always have this tendency to put like a lot of cosplayers on this pedestal. Right. And like when I meet them, I'm like, I do forget sometimes, like, oh yeah, you're a human, just you're like just I person. am. Yeah. Yeah, you're a nerd. Yeah. You came here by choice. <laughs> <laughs> like you're a cosplayer, you know, like you eat, breathe, sleep just like I do. So right. you you you're checking your bank account right now too to see if you can also <laughs> afford this McDonald's. So Man, let me tell you, you get what you can get and then you go to the dealer's room and I swear it feels like you're just a millionaire in there. Oh my gosh. And I, then I when you leave the doors, whew, it all hits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get home and bills are due again and <laughs> the yeah. escapism's gone and yep. <laughs> all your endorphins are gone there's no serotonin left in your body <laughs> and i'm like it's such a rush you know every mm -hmm. time i get a new piece of art and they're like oh you know 40 50 bucks and i swipe the card and that whole processing is just a rush i'm like will it go through will it go through <laughs> like, come on man come on <laughs> You're just not breathing. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, decline. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Try, try one more time. Try one more time. And they try it. I'm like, I knew it. <laughs> Gosh. I, Capture cons is, is probably always better for me. If I cannot pull my card out, it's safer because then I have a budget. When I run out of money, you're, you're done. <laughs> you're done. Go you're done. home. Do not pass go. <laughs> do, do not buy this wig. Don't buy this uh, collar. Don't buy this jacket. Don't buy this figure. That's enough. Go eat some food. You're, you know what? I need to like live by that rule. I never carry cash on me. So. Oh man. Yeah. It's, <sighs> it's, it's, it's one of those. My mom was always like that. She was like, not everybody's going to take card carry cash. I was like, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, older generation had a bit of wisdom to that. There was some, there was a, she was telling you that for a reason more oh, so yeah. than just, yeah, being stubborn. Oh, for sure. Even <laughs> like as, as an, as an adult TM now, I can absolutely attest to having cash as a safety precaution is, is really right. better. Sure. And like, but then like a whole new set of frustrations come along because you're like, but you know, like, I know I got the money, but I don't need to spend it. Like, you know, a whole yeah. new mindset comes along when you oh, just yeah. can't get that instant gratification. <laughs> welcome to cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to level one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can eat ramen for the next six months. <laughs> I could absolutely survive off that. That is... Like feasible it's, it's doable very doable <laughs> that and like you know maybe visit like the pantry and like... <laughs> oh, for the no. sake of my art my oh, art you know, that's commit you're committed and i yeah. love it <laughs> yeah. but uh i i try to advocate for like you called me creative earlier and i really appreciate that oh, i yeah. try um to be as innovative and like cosplay thrifting is my thing that's my thing Mm -hmm. um i've done a couple panels of it uh, on it at cons and like luna actually luna is a pretty good example uh no wait luna is the worst example <laughs> uh shoot I'm trying to think of an example i lost um <laughs> maybe like i mean i was looking at your instagram like your officer Ginny or your princess kita oh yeah oh actually you know what ua princess UA. ua from avatar the last airbender mm -hmm. if i'm not including the wig the wig was maybe like 20 bucks this whole cosplay, I think, was $10. Wow. I think, How did you do go. this? Um, it's all made out of linen and sheets and bed sheets and things like that. And uh, hot glue and paper and so like sew on buttons. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I had this huge haul. Man, <laughs> I can't believe I didn't remember this till just now. <laughs> I had this uh, huge haul and I went to a uh, Goodwill outlet and found a whole bunch of like what they because they, they weigh it by the they price it by the pound 
And uh-huh. I think I might have gone home with what could have been like sixty, seventy dollars, eighty dollars worth of fabric and God. material and things, and I got it for twenty two bucks. That is insane. And that was things that I haven't even touched yet. Yeah, UA, UA definitely only cost maybe like thirty dollars total. That's amazing, man. Because mm-hmm. you know, like me not being a creative person like that i'm like oh i gotta buy this i gotta buy this i gotta buy this and other people are like oh you can just take you know this aluminum foil and shape it into that or <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but I mean, some buttons yeah yeah but that's true but again it goes back to the you can have time you can have money you can have quality and sometimes right. you have to pick two and and some people you can really you can really make it look like this thing was made out of just solid metal and maybe it's paper mache you know, uh, it's it's a learning process. Sometimes you you learn these things out of necessity. You're right. You know, I've definitely um, I was in a point where cosplaying was still really good for me emotionally and mentally, but financially, I had to really start to scrape to figure out how I could still make costumes when I really just had no money because I needed it for like my soul. Mm-hmm. Um, so I learned about all the ways you can thrift, uh, repurposing and refurbishing, um, costumes. My blue diamond is like that. My blue diamond is a bunch of like hand-me-down Nigerian fabrics I got from my brother-in-law. Um, Wait, are you like Nigerian? That. I'm not. No, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Just, just for, for the sake of, uh, accurately describing what the fabric I used was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I'm Texan. That's that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really cool though. That like you know that you found a way despite you know financial situations. Because I know a lot of people will be like, oh, I'm just taking a year off from cosplay because I have to get my finances in order. And mm-hmm. you're like, no, you know, I'm gonna handle my business, but I'm still gonna find time to you know enjoy my passion. So I think that's mm-hmm. really awesome. Thank you. Yeah. How about your uh, Shigo? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, taking it back. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, man. Um, So I can't even actually uh, take too much credit for Shigo. Um, My best friend made Shigo. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Kimmy Cosplay and Design. She's my nurse joy in my Office of Jenny pictures. Oh, got it. Okay. Uh, So we patterned it and did the thing and cut the pieces and all that jazz. So um, the costume itself was definitely more, um, that was, that was, that was for sure. That was her, <laughs> but I, it was really fun. That's another cosplay I always love. Cause I was a huge Kim possible fan. Oh yeah. So like, yeah. Like every time I see Kim possible, she go power Rangers, you know, like cowboy bebop, a lot of the classics. I'm like, Oh, I have to get your picture. Mm-hmm. I want to so. do it again someday. So like now that I'm, <sighs> Much better at uh, body paint and face paint. Mm-hmm. So much better I could do this again. Yeah, like that picture on your Instagram post from 2017. So like <sighs> you've like leveled up a few times since then. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, The past two years have been like mega glow up. I don't know how I did it. That's uh, really awesome. It's the power I'm... of good friends. <laughs> and like, you know, good creation skills, though. People, you know, appreciate good work, too. Thank you. Yeah, like your Songo video has like, you know, a ton of likes. So I mean, um, it was a good cosplay. Uh, I, am, <laughs> I uh Tonka is he's so great. And I'm telling you, it's it's such a collaborative effort. And when people say that they like what I do, I can't even I, I don't mean to be humble to a like a fault or like modest to the point where it's dismissive of what I'm doing, but I, I cannot help but credit everything that I do to really great photographers and really great directors and people who come like 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 obviously uh, like Cusco is probably like my biggest one but oh, I yeah. I can't pose I am not a model <laughs> I am not a model and it's it's just people who know how to direct and people who can make me feel comfortable uh being there in my costume and feeling confident in myself it's just it's it's great and I'm just so fortunate and and blessed to be able to work with such amazing people so I can show my art like this. That's really cool. Shout outs to all the people, you know, who help the pop stars get to where they are. Absolutely. (laughs) I would be nothing without you. (laughs) 
<laughs> and so you were talking about Cusco, ah, Cusco, right? That's how you say his name? Cusco? Yes, yes. Yeah. Did you did you make that one or you said your friend also made that one? Actually, so I made this one. Okay. But but <laughs> she she helped me through this because I, I learned. She taught me so many new techniques um and ways to do this. And it's such a it's such a I don't know, the, the sewing part, it's such a simple cosplay, right? It looks it is, so simple. It looks, yeah. <laughs> but I learned uh, like piping and uh, something about like this corner sewing thing. And I experimented with painting when I made his um, his collar and his crown. I've made that collar and crown like three times. They are, <laughs> these collars and crowns are not the same when you see them in the different shoots. They are different collars and crowns. You know, you, I would have never get. <laughs> secrets of the trade i guess because i'm looking at the pictures now and i could not tell it's just, it's, it's uh yeah but that was emperor's new group is my favorite disney movie mm -hmm. and it was also the first time that i got to like just cosplay a boy mm -hmm. it's not a crossplay and and so it's it's really emotional when you're sewing and you've been sitting at the sewing machine for hours trying to make the simplest line and you've messed up 20 times and you're like, well, okay, I guess I can't, I guess I can't make a, a, a poncho. So I'm just going to give up on this, but it's, it's such a, it's so good. We made linen fabric look like something, you know, royal and it's easily probably my most, it's, it's a really good accomplishment for me yeah. for sure. Did you learn sewing just for cosplay, or did you know that you had that skill before? I, I started uh, learning how to sew when I was 13. Ah, nice. um, uh, I watched the Mary Kate and Ashley video as a child that said, <laughs> hey, <laughs> you like fashion. You want to learn how to do this? And I said, heck yeah. Um, <laughs> I started out in, um, as, a, as a fashion design major when I went to university. Mm -hmm. um, so I had sewing classes. I w did not do well in those sewing classes. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a high level of craftsmanship. People just think you can just learn how to sew and you just know how to sew. It, it it's a it's technique and it's time and it's yeah, I, that I don't crap think I'm is a master hard. sewer. It is. <laughs> that crap is I'm hard. Not, I won't tell anybody I'm a great sewer because I'm not. If you look on the inside of my costumes, <laughs> that's it's a like... whole different. That's a whole different thing. It's a whole different animal going on in there. Mm -hmm, absolutely. You know. I love that because a lot of times too, I beat some people, uh, you know, like I always say that now, of course I can't think of anyone, but um, you know, I just meet lots of cosplayers and I'm like, so just in awe. And especially I really like um, armor builds mm -hmm. and I'm like, how the hell did you do this? Like, it just looks flawless. And mm -hmm. they're like, dude, and they like, you know, take off their arm and show the inside. And I'm like, oh <laughs> Jesus Christ, like what happened in there? They're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, like, it just goes to show, you know, you know, that like experience comes along with the craft and, right. you know, it's all about the final product and not how it all comes together. Not the journey. Well, that sounds terrible. It's about the journey and the final destination. But Right, right. It's, it's, it's all about what you, what you as a cosplayer prioritize. Um, yeah. I have a lot of friends who do, comp uh, um, my, my, the love of my life, uh, Sonia Blade cosplay is mm -hmm. just, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> she's uh done multiple competitions and so her her ability to understand the needs for craftsmanship and to you know take her time and making sure you know you have to obviously because that's the craftsmanship is why competitions and cosplayers who enter competitions are on this different level because they care about what the inside really yeah. really looks like yeah. because they have to show people what the inside looks like mm -hmm. um and it's it's i've never I've never competed. I don't think I've, have I ever, I don't think I've ever competed in a cosplay competition for craftsmanship for, for my cosplays. I've done like performance skits. I've been judged for performance, but please do not look at my seams. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, I cannot help you if you look at my seams. Like, did you ever get really discouraged when you were trying, you know, like you said you had to start over 20 times or so, were you ever just oh, yeah. like to hell with this? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, How did you overcome that? And like, you know, like, you see the final picture and you're like, you know, I'm not backing out of this journey. Um, 
I don't mean to do this again, but like my friends, <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, it's just having having a, a, a support system in cosplay and in this community, especially when when I first started out, I had a lot of people neg me. A lot of people the, say that again. Like they negged me and oh. told, told me that there were things that I couldn't do or or you shouldn't try to make this. You should just 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 do this the easy way. And so I feel like. Um, when you stunt yourself because people treat you like you can't do something, you tell yourself you can't do it either. Um, but then it takes time and it takes um, more people showing you like, wow, I think this thing you did amazing. It, it is amazing. Can I, how did, how did you do this? Like, like what we're doing right now, I can't tell you are, you are boosting me real hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm glad. I just, I'm in awe of other people often. And it, it's the ability to feel inspired that motivates me to keep going and passion projects and feeling fulfilled. Even if it's not going to be the best thing I've ever made, I can still say that it's the best of this thing that I've made. And that's, if I try it again, then that's, I can make it better. Yes. That's so cool. You know, like I'm really having a hard time with that. Like learning to be okay, I guess, essentially with everything not being the best that eventually it will be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I want to pick up this skill. I want the very first time to be, you know, cosplay, amazing, worthy, right. everyone to admire it. And I make it, I'm like, that was terrible. And I'm like, you have to learn, you know, this is a skill like everything else. Right, right, so, right. Absolutely. You know, and people, people who draw and people are like, oh my God, I wish I was as talented as you. And like, okay, well, that's, I've been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I've been drawing for 20 years. Just, just, you gotta practice. Yeah, it's gonna you have to practice. <laughs> Calm down, young blood. It's gonna be a minute. <laughs> Calm down. Here, here's the pencil. Yeah. Uh, like, you know what? Speaking of, like, I'm not sure how old you are, but I'm like, uh, I just turned okay. 27. All right, so I, I'm a little bit older than you, not by much, but a little bit. <laughs> and um, do you? I don't know if you remember the pencil sharpeners where you had to like go to the front of the class and do like the hand crank and you like. <laughs> You mean the source of all of my childhood anxiety? Of course I <laughs> yes, do. Yes, right? <laughs> so, I'm like, I've told, I mean, I can't draw, but I just still love to, you know, grief some of my friends who can. Yeah. Man, I want to be a great drawer. I'm like, when you learn what one of these are, that's my friend when you are ready. That's, that's, to be that's a when good you drawer. will know. <laughs> yes. That's when you have enough experience under your belt. Oh man. But then but oh gosh, you remember when you used to just grind that thing down and you would pull it out and you look at it and it's lopsided and put it back in. You pull it out, and it's still lopsided, and you put it back in yes. and you pull it out and now it's an inch long. <laughs> and you don't even have Good a pencil times. anymore. I know. And like, you know, walking up to that thing was like where you show off all your clothes and everybody's eyeing you. You don't want to trip. Like it was Ew. <laughs> Ew. It was a lot. Yes. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got to bring back those good memories. Kids nowadays, I don't oh think they gosh. can handle that kind of pressure. <laughs> I hated elementary school. <laughs> I hated it. Oh my gosh. Especially, I was, I was so, so into anime. Oh my gosh. Playing Sailor Moon at recess mm -hmm. and having these kids come over and just shit on me and my friends <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because we wanted to be sailor scouts and they would just you just you know kids are really just horrible <laughs> but that's okay because i'm fly as fuck now so right guess what exactly it's good exactly it's it all fun. came full circle and those kids are probably like depressed and fat i really hope they're not but at the same time i hope they are but yeah. anyway <laughs> it's, a, it's okay to be depressed and or fat just don't be a bad person <laughs> True. Don't be a bad person. <laughs> Don't make fun of kids who like Sailor Moon, okay? <laughs> or yeah, I mean, like I said, growing up in that time period, I've had that discussion with many people on the podcast, and like, yeah. man, like it was rough, like an anime back in the day. You know, like in the days of Toonami and having to download anime on Napster and LimeWire. Man, those were some rough days. <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was actually, um, I watched this really awesome video essay the other day about um, just uh, Toonami, really, and the way that mainstream media, American media, uh, broadcast, uh, Turner Broadcast, Cartoon Network, and, you know, four o'clock blocks of watching anime in the middle of the day, and how that 
absolutely brought the surge. So that's why it's so much easier for kids now to be like, oh yeah, I like, what, what, what anime is it out now? I like Demon Slayer. Yeah, uh, My Hero Academia. I like My yeah. Hero because you, you, d- you can have this huge collective so much easier of people. When, when Toonami was on, I did not have a lot of friends who I talked to who were watching Toonami with me. I was at home in front of the TV on the floor by myself me watching too. watching me Yu Yu Hakusho and, yes. and just or like a uh, um, paranoia agent watching <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. I was too young to watch Paranoia Agent. Oh, we too... all were. That was a rough series. Too young. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm still too young to watch Paranoia and Agent. I was too young for Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh man. I was too young. I don't think I was too, I don't think I was too young for Dot Hack Sign. I'm a huge fan of the original Dot Hack Sign. Yeah, Dot Hack I was went okay. back. I went back and watched that just a few months ago. Nice. And I got like 10 episodes in. I think I'd cried four times and I said, okay, maybe maybe this is not maybe, for me. <laughs> maybe this isn't the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, like, yeah, I've gone back and I've watched a few of the series that I watched as a kid. Mm -hmm. And man, it's like, you know, now that you get some of the stuff, you're like, yeah, I was not ready for this at like Mm -hmm. 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting here like, oh, that's why I'm like this. Makes sense. (laughs) Makes perfect sense. Like uh, talking about old anime and how elementary school was not good. I, I was the first time I almost got in huge trouble in elementary school was because I was watching too much Outlaw Star. Mm. and Twilight Suzuka was my favorite character at the time so you know I thought that growing up becoming an assassin and getting revenge on your childhood bullies was a very appropriate thing to tell said childhood (laughs) bullies while they were talking to you You know if you're bullying me and I tell you that I'm gonna grow up and train for years so I can become an assassin hunt you down and kill you (laughs) I guess I really didn't think they were gonna go tell the teacher (laughs) I mean you know I feel like you got your point across, though. Yeah, I did. And I feel like they <laughs> left you alone after that. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. They were like, yeah, you know, we're kind of done with this whole bullying thing. You kind of changed our lives. Yeah, or let's stay away from this chick before she stabs us with a one-inch pencil. <laughs> you know, because I used to watch Fist of the North Star. Oh, and, yes. Oh, yeah, dude, I was mad. After watching those episodes, I was ready to take on the whole school. I was like, the principal's going to get it, the teacher, everyone's going to get a piece of this. These hands are rated E. E for, I mean, everyone, future <laughs> generations, yo, everyone's going to get some of it. And I was like, I can kill you in, like, one punch. Oh, my They're gosh. like, what? What the hell? <laughs> See, oh, man, what were we even talking See, tangents. Or really? Yeah, I know. We completely, yeah. I have no idea what we were talking about before I'm this. the queen. Cons. <laughs> what, whatever Cons. topic yes. your show is actually about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, moving back onto that, what conventions are you looking forward to when con season returns? Um, well, okay. Uh, if, if this is my super, super optimistic forecast, um, Katsu 2021, for sure. I pray. Um, Just because you know as hard as people usually go for Katsu, the moment we know for a fact that nothing's going to be wrong, everyone is going to pull out their biggest, most elaborate build. Yes. It's going to be super, it's just, it's good. uh, It's good. uh, Eye gasms the whole weekend. (laughs) Completely. Really, really good. Completely. Um, Dragon Con, I know, is. Uh, I'm not going this year. I was going with some friends, but we did decide before they told us no that we were just going to go ahead and say, obviously, we're not going to be doing this. But um, to go to such a huge con there, Blurred Con 2021. For sure. Blurred Con 2021. For sure. The fam's going to get back together. We'll 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 be together <laughs> again soon. I promise, y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's it's tricky. I'm trying to think of. It's so hard to forecast these things. Uh, I, I'd like to go home to Texas for some 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 local cons there. Oh, where um, down? Oh, um, I'm I'm in Delaware. I'm up okay. in the in the the DMV. Gotcha. Right, that's it's DMV. Yeah. So like Katsu wasn't too far from you. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, I'm very fortunate to, because before when I lived in Texas, I had to fly all the way up, um, to you come flew? to these cons. Yes, like, you man. You all your props and everything. Well, no, but like I said, back then, uh, it wasn't 
I wasn't carrying anything big. Oh. I wasn't bringing big props. To, I wouldn't make a big prop to put on a plane. Okay. Because something bad always happens. Of course. Um, TSA doesn't care about. Oh, gosh. Yeah. My first Sailor Pluto cosplay back in like, what, 2016? They absolutely obliterated my Pluto staff. <laughs> I said, well, never doing this again. God, that makes me so annoying. Ah, so mad, yeah. but. I can't Anyways. really think of any. Sorry, I was a uh, terrible answer to your question. No, you're good. You know, Dragon Con, Katsu. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm praying, like I said, you know, con convention season will be back in full swing. And yeah. I'll probably be at a Katsu. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Dragon, I'm, I've gone to Dragon a lot of times. And honestly, oh, wow. it's spread out for me. I really, oh. yeah, like, you know, I liked Katsu because it was in one hotel. Oh, I see. But. Dragon Con is like four blocks or something right. like that. But the con's also like a week. That is true too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a lot for me. Um, but aside from those two, of course, Momo. I love Momo Con. Oh yeah, I wonder. I've never been to Momo Con. I really oh, love to Mo go to Momo. Momo Con is awesome. Awesome. Um, um, Holiday and, Matsuri in Florida. I'd yes. like to attend that. I. Um, who shout outs to um Dark Hyperion. Yes, he mm. was the one who told me about that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he uh maybe maybe I can hit that one. But definitely AWA. Uh, mm. that, and of course Blurred Con. Um that's all I got at the moment though of con right. season comes back is conventions are expensive. Right. And and that's probably one of the reasons why uh it's so hard to, you know, forecast when there's a lot of like financial uh uncertainty. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And I think about, like, could I have even afforded going to Dragon Con this year and then coming back and then feeling secure enough with the way everything is to not get kind of effed? Because that's what happened with Katsu. I was yeah. like, all right, you know, we did this. We went hard. We're about to come back. We're about to make all this money and save all this money. And just kidding, girl, your job is closed. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> It's like I got time to recoup and get ready for the next convention, and they're just like, "Yeah, everybody." Oh, off. My. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, summer twenty twenty really hit different. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, you know, of course, I'm unfortunately that did happen to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Did that ever make you think about trying to go full time with cosplay? Um, the reason why I would say no is the same reason why I think I've always uh never thought that i could uh pursue cosplay as like my profession um i think that as a cosplayer what i bring <laughs> this doesn't sound weird what i what i bring to the table as a cosplayer is maybe me as an individual my persona um i don't have the best craftsmanship right now i don't do amazing really uh in-depth tutorials for people to learn from um I don't know how to uh, do really great self shoots and I don't make a lot of uh, sellable content and things. But the big thing is I cannot market myself worth uh, a Doug Demadam. I can't do it. Um, maybe that has to do with some self-confidence issues. Yes, it does. Um, <laughs> and a lot of it, so it's a kind of just uh, marketing and, and, and sales and content, cre content creation, uh, deadlines like that and, yeah. and things, I could maybe do it on a smaller scale, but I don't know if I could ever turn cosplay into my full-time job or, or, or to be my career. I got you. That's really okay. That's, you know, very, what's it called? I got really good inner reflection and to be like, yeah, you know, maybe not at this moment even, but maybe even later on, but. Right. Right. Yeah. Once I find, once I find something, I mean, I don't know. Also, I don't even get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Like, I think, uh, again, I, I bring her up all the time because I love her. I love her so much. Sonia Blade. Um, and she is she is on it. She, You want to talk about people who haven't actually really been working throughout this quarantine? My baby has been on it. Um, she's got a really great She-Ra cosplay. She's going to blow our wigs back. I know exactly who you're going to say. Uh, Coco Sugar. No, not Coco Sugar, but she's oh. A1. <laughs> she's amazing. Oh my gosh, and she's so kind. I love it. You, oh, extremely. Her Luna, she posted a Luna recently, and I just, mm, mwah, it was perfect. <laughs> she's so sweet. 
Yeah, she was actually the only person I had scheduled for um Katsu for mm-hmm. shoots, and um, I, yeah, I did a video of her too. So, oh, man, so pretty, got yeah, me but, on her page right now. You want to talk about just crap? Oh yeah, she's shit. ridiculous. Like um, the first time I saw her was actually after uh, she won at Blurred Con. Yes, me too. Yeah, that was the first time I met her, and she had the uh, Princess Di Tiana. 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 Yeah. And I was oh. like, oh, that is, um, and she was like, yeah, I put on all these rhinestones individually. Yes. And I was like, oh, hell no. And but she, died, I, she, she dyed that mesh herself. Yes, yeah, yeah, she told me that. Oh, and I was amazing. Like, I was like, girl, like, I understand why you won, because this is ridiculous. Yeah, blue wig blown back. Yes. This yes. for sure. Wait, but no, who are you going to mention? Oh, I was still talking about Sonia. I'll talk oh, about Sonia Blake. I'll <laughs> talk about Sonia for an hour, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, uh, uh, you know, diligence and, and that kind of self-discipline and I just, I don't know. That's just not, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, I don't think I can, but that's, no, oh, dang it. I'm rambling about this. Uh, remember how, or, before you had said something to me about, uh, thinking that I'm more impressive than I think I am. Yeah. That's, that's just the general thing. Like, how do I, how do I if I was going to make a piece of art and sell this piece of art, I have to be confident in the content that I've made and the quality that I'm selling this for. You know, I don't know how to sell me. <laughs> I understand that. You don't really know how to represent yourself just yet. Yeah. I, I, I always say that if I could hire a social media manager, I could do it professionally. I got gotcha. you. That could have been the shortest answer. Could have just said that first. <laughs> no, nah, you know, I like the, like I said, it's all about the journey sometimes. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Someone who can kind of keep me, you know, okay, well, you know, some of the algorithms against you, you have to be posting in a timely manner to make sure that it still moves. So mm-hmm. you can keep circulation. You have to check your reach and you have to make sure your numbers are in, in, in check in. Uh, social media for me, I've never been that way. Mm-hmm. I've always preferred to see and not be seen. Um, I yep that's why I became a photographer mm -hmm. the concept (laughs) of being perceived and analyzed and I I look at all these like we look at other people and we we put them on this pedestal that's super amazing I just don't know if that's where uh if I want that kind of notoriety okay so I got you I like I like my art for my art and I notice anytime I try to put a dollar sign on my art I can't do it anymore I just stop doing it you know I get it. I really do. <laughs> so that's why we need to be following these other diligent, beautiful, wonderful creators uh, like Sonia Blakos. Play. <laughs> you know, actually, now, like, I'm glad you brought her up. I'm going to reach out to her to see if she actually wants to do an interview, too. So. She is phenomenal. And she's a she's she's a great for talking. She's so great. I, I listen to her all day. She's great. Well, unfortunately, we were out of time for today. Mm-hmm. I know like that really felt like it blew by, at least for me it did. But I always like to end every episode on who do you look up to in the cosplay world? Uh, Zero Suit Sammy is the first one that comes to mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she is such a multifaceted uh, creator. And she's so kind. Um, oh, man. Can you like... Uh, 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 uh. I can get, I'm going to get like one more at least. A falafel, falafel cosplay. You, I oof. do not know that one. Yes, she is. She does so many great uh, uh, cost tests and um, she does series of things. She's got a bajillion Animal Crossing looks and they are <laughs> all fantastic. She's super sweet. And she's so funny. She has a Nicki Minaj music video of her as Isabel from Animal mm-hmm. Crossing. Yeah. Um, her craftsmanship. She's always down for learning. She works really, really hard. Um, she's always up. She's, she's, she's up on it. You know, she really stays on her game. And I appreciate how much work she puts in and how she's such a light. And she's got a great disposition to people that she meets. She's so great. Truly really cool. I'm after, yeah, I have never heard of her before. Falafel mm-hmm. cosplay. Mm-hmm. So cool, then. All right. Well, thank you so much again for taking the time to talk with us. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. I hope that uh, <laughs> it's like if you have to edit it, it's not a nightmare. Oh, but no. I, this was a great conversation, just overall. Uh, you've got a great energy and you're a great host. So thanks again, man. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> of course. <laughs>
Well, thanks everyone for listening. That's going to do it for today. As always, stay boundless, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.